Hello tournament organizers, this is Ben with Scoreholio. I'm going to go over how to run a week-to-week -week league using the Switchholio format. It's becoming quite popular out there. You can run your league for 5 weeks, 8 weeks, 12 weeks, 20 weeks, it doesn't matter. We got you covered. So let me go ahead and get started. What is Switchholio? Switchholio is the tournament format where players are actually their own team and they get paired up with a random partner and play against two random people during the tournament. For your league format, everybody will get a different partner every round, and uh, you will be using the import feature, which means that if you uh, have it, you're going to have to upgrade to the advanced, so that way you can import your players and teams. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what I have set up here. I'm already logged in, and I have my uh, test tournament here. I'll show you what I have it set up as. So uh, this is my week one, Switch Holio League. I have it as private, but you'll set it as public. It's a round robin. I do my scoring to, uh, format uh, total points. You can do record then points, but I prefer uh, total points. I have three courts. Always do four rounds, or you can do eight rounds uh, for Switch Holio because uh, no matter what, everybody will end with the same amount of uh, games played for the night if you keep it as a multiple of four. Uh, we played a 21. The uh, third uh, score, the third tiebreaker is score differential, so you don't need to go over 21 if you don't want to. You're going to set it up as a switch holio. Me personally, I like using pre-registration and prepay, so I have it set up as a $40 per person entry fee. I have my uh, pre-registration uh, enabled. I have 17 teams max. Um, and registration closes two hours before the first week. Um, and then I've just put a cool little description here. So now let's get to my tournament here. I'm going to go ahead and click admin. As you can see, I already have 14 teams that I've put in here, or excuse me, players that act as teams on their own. Some of them are in pre-registration. I'm going to simply check them in real quick, so that way I have everybody here. And if you look at the uh, dashboard, you'll see that I have all 17 teams and our players ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this Start Tournament button, which I normally do. And if it doesn't fill up every one of them like it already did here, you can always click this Advanced Game button and it'll automatically fill if you have more than three courts. So let's say that the first week, um, you know, before you hit Start Tournament, you can always, if like Sherry's not going to show up, you can always click on Sherry. This is where you can add and put in extra points or anything if people put the wrong score in. You can move a team as well, which means that if Sherry's not there, I'm going to move her to not playing this week, and that takes her out of the rotation. We're going to go ahead and uh, go start doing this tournament. You can see on the leaderboard, this is your total points. The, the, in the parentheses is the rounds played. And in the gray, it's the points against that player. So we're going to do four rounds. So we'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, put in some scores here. Let's say 21 to nothing. And we submit and we play the whole tournament. You'll see that Sherry never goes in because she's not there tonight. And everybody's going to get their four games. So let's pretend like everything's done. If uh, we have extra time that night, we can always just run a playoff for fun and create the bracket, whatever you want to do. Now what happens is you're going to go to week two. So you're going to go back to where you create the tournament and create your week two. So I'm going to call this one week two switch holio league, right? And you put in the date that it's going to be. This is going to be in Ventura. It's a round robin. It's live. It's public. I'm going to put it private so people don't see it. My team generation is Switch Holio. It's total points. I'm going to have my three courts again. I'm going to do four rounds for week two. I have my score limit there. I don't need any of this. I don't need entry fee or pre-registration because I'm going to import everybody into week two. So when I go ahead and do that, I have week two created. I simply go to the admin here. And I'm going to go ahead and click this import button here. And I'm going to import everybody from week one into week two. So I'm going to select all. And I what I uh, here's the here's the key that you have to pay attention to. I want to do my import wins and losses because that's everybody's record from week one. So I want to say yes to that. The import game log is what you have to pay attention to. I have 17 teams, there's 17 players here, which means that each player has the ability to play with 16 other players. So I can go all the way to 16 rounds total before the system's going to start locking up because there's nobody else for anybody to play. So I can import the game log this week because I don't want people to play with the same partners they had last week. But once I make it to week four, 
That means that I've played four rounds every week for four weeks. That's a total of 16 rounds. I'm now going to have to say no to game log whenever I get to week four. But for week two, I don't want people playing with the same partner, so I'm going to keep the game log. Import times played, I'd say no, because I just want them all to be able to play their four rounds. Now I'm going to import these selected teams. Now let's say that you have somebody that uh, heard about your league, and they're like, hey, you know what, I really wanted to play, and, you know, can I get in? Sure, fine, just add them in, Fernando Q. And I'm going to add in Fernando. Typically, I would scan them in so that way they get their alerts and their court, their game uh, play um, results texted or uh, pushed alert to them. But I'm going to go ahead and start this tournament now. Now I have 18 players. That's fine. You're going to go ahead and go in. And you'll see that some of these ones that we that scored on week one, they already have their scores in there. All of them would have scores if I, we actually played through week one. Let's say Randy's not there this week. I'm going to go ahead and move Randy to finish not playing and move him over here. Now, let's say that uh, you get all the way done, and now you have your dashboard, which if I click here and I click the display button and go to dashboard, I can show you that we're all ready playing and that this one's all done. And by the end, you're going to have everybody with like 500 points up here, and everybody's going to be ready to play into the uh, elimination week. What you're going to do is you're going to go here. You can create the first bracket. Let's say I want to bring the top, you know, eight teams. So 16 players. Oh, let's do less than that. Let's do four and eight players into this one. I'm going to go ahead and create that bracket. I want to make it a double elimination. And I'm going to click create that bracket. As long as you are upgraded, you also get this additional bracket button. So then you can click additional bracket. And this is the lower league bracket. And I want that to be a double elimination too. And I want to bring this one, I want to bring the lower four into it. So I'm going to take from nine all the way to, oops, uh, 16. There we go. And then I'm going to create that additional bracket. That's actually going to create a whole nother tournament that all the lower people are in. And now I have ran two weeks, but let's say I did it for eight. I can run eight weeks. I create my brackets and I'm ready to go for my finals. Well, that's it. This has been with Scoreholio. It's easy peasy. Enjoy everybody.